Hello, today I would like to present you a scan I've already made with the POP2 scanner. At the beginning a short presentation of the result, followed by the scan process with the display of resources consumption of my computer. And at the end I show the comparison between the POP2 and the mini result, once in Revo scan and once in Revo Studio meshed. I hope you like it. Now the scan process. I have accelerated the recording because it took a little longer time. I have also decided this time to make the scan in one pass and adjust the position of the scanner during the process because I have made the best experience so far with that. Even if you lose tracking from time to time, it's easy to correct if you go back a bit. Here you can see some misalignments, but this can be easily fixed by the fusion process. Even thought, it looks like a lot of places have not been captured yet. In the end it was enough for a really good result. Now the fusion process starts. Because this time it takes quite a long time, I speed up the recording a bit more. And on the stopwatch you can see well how long it takes. As you can see, the fusion process took over 21 minutes. At this point, I also thought about trying to capture the unrecord areas with another scan process, but since the fusion process takes over 20 minutes again, I decided against it. In this case, you could also make more scans and merge them with, the, uh, with this scan, but as I said, I was so satisfied with the result after the mesh in Revo Studio that I discard that too. Now I start the meshing process and at this time I um, do not filling holes. I just want to see how much I'm missing 
and um, it's very funny to see because um, when I saw what I miss here and I saw the meshing in Revo Studio, I saw that much more areas get captured in Revo Studio than in Revo Scan. After that I did also a, a merging with um, fill holes just to have a better comparison with the Revo Studio result. And now it's time for the comparison between the mini result and the uh, POP2 result. Also, um, scan uh, meshed once in Revo Studio and once meshed in Revo Scan. As you can see here, the data generated by the Revo Point Mini is much cleaner, which is due to the use of the blue light. So the Revo Point Mini can benefit greatly from the better meshing settings in Revo Studio. However, the infrared light of the POP2 also has great advantages, especially when it comes to scanning objects with many different colors and brightnesses. But more about this in one of my following videos. So, that's it for now. All I can say is, thanks for watching.